Okay. Yeah, I see a lot of work. Be a lot of work. Yeah, I told you it'd be a lot of work, Daddy. It's the morning of proposed haul out, and Shaft has no water coming out of the exhaust. <laughs> a bit scary, but good. With mum and dad along for the ride, we left Australia and spent a few days exploring beautiful Mexico City before arriving at the boat for the first time for dad and for the second time for mum. Oh, she's floating. It's the main thing. What's your initial impressions? Uh, pretty solid looking boat. She's solid? She's a beautiful boat. Just need some just, um, care. Yeah, I see a lot of work. Be a lot of work. Yeah, I told you it'd be a lot of work, Daddy. Just Jane. Yeah, like this. That's yes. And like this. But we can do all that. Yeah. yeah. This we won't be able to repair here. This will be no. a job yeah. for future. Yes. What's going on here? What's this? The lecky tape mm. that holds my rigging together. Nah. <laughs> Oh, no, just to stop those little points, um, just to stop like sails or ropes getting stuck on the little pins. It's just to protect the... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Come on, Jim Brocks. Oh, yeah, it's hot in here. Oh. To go get, um, retrieve our, the, halyard, the halyard we normally lift people on yeah. was wrapped around the wires. So I had to lift Jim on the other halyard, and I don't know, you can kind of see it up there. It's like the freightest piece of anything, and it's got a piece of tape around it. And Jim was like, what's the tape for? I was like, nothing, but it's like where it's ripping. Wow, back on board. It's my first morning. Um, it's been good. It's been, my parents are excited to see the boat, excited to get to work. It seems like we can haul out maybe tomorrow or the next day. So you can probably hear people are cleaning the bottom now so that we can get the slings under and get her up. We've got a plan on how we're going to chop chuffed up because it's a bit different to a normal boat because she can't be supported on her keel. So we've got to put um, stuff below her. Um, yeah, so we're just going to have to get stuck into things and um, start work and yeah, I'm like a very weird mix of like extremely excited and extremely nervous <laughs> because yeah, I just, I just know how so, so many of these things go where I have this plan and then like, you know, none of the through holes I've bought will actually fit or something like that. But anyway, fingers crossed, everything will go good. We've got everything ordered that we need for now. Will and Lean there are coming in three or four weeks. So, three weeks. So, um, they will be also a huge help. I've got my dad here who's an electrician. Mum's gonna go crazy with cleaning and trying to like use special products to bring up some of the, uh, the um, like vinyl um, inside and different things like that and yeah we got we got good plans for everything I'm excited but nervous it's the morning of proposed haul out and chuffed has no water coming out of the exhaust the uh, pump spinning We've cleaned the outside of the hull, thinking that maybe it was blocked from there, but I'm going to have to pull it apart and see I have blocked. Mm. Mum and Dad are coming over soon. Um, and hopefully we can get her working today, so we can haul out. So I can blow through both pipes which and air goes through so they're not blocked. So essentially it's either the intake pipe because obviously when I blow through the one going to the pump it's uh, just going to the water filter so there's air in there so I can blow through that. But we did clean it so it should technically not be that unless there's a problem with my seacock or something not opening. And then with the... Um, 
Yeah, the other thing is that there's a problem with the pump, which would be a real pain. Go and check it out. I'm not happy. There's a freaking arm missing again. What the freak? So annoying. This Impala's not even old. I should have replaced it when we did the... Remember how I was saying I was going to replace it during the service? Then I was like, oh, actually, it says you only need to do it every X amount of hours, and it's only been this many hours. I should have just done it. And that's probably seized, which maybe is why it's not pumping. It seemed pretty seized to me. I'll get the little asshole. I mean, we'll get the little thing out and see if that fixes the problem. I was just too, I was too preemptive. Here it comes. Water! Yay! Water! Um, couldn't find the impala arm, but I'm replacing a bunch of the pipes anyway. That haul out, and Jim's bringing new parts, so I think I'm just gonna wait and, and do it then, because, um, yeah, I don't feel like pulling apart the entire engine. I tried to flush it out with no luck. The thing with hauling out is it's a series of high stress movements happening extremely slowly. As I was editing the video, I realized just how slowly it was, although I was under constant stress and felt like things were moving so quick. It's also almost always done with an audience. With the current and the wind pushing our nose over, we had to get a little bit creative with our entry. Reverse parking a sailboat is no easy feat. to take more. I'm up to 17 minutes. Oh, maybe stop it here and then we'll do some more. You don't want to see it coming all the way up? I do, yeah. Might as well and then you can just, because you'll probably music over this, won't you? Yeah. It's probably only another couple of minutes, really. Once Chuff was out of the water, it was time to find her parking spot. Because of Chuff's unusual shape, we had to really think through how we were going to chock her up. Normally a sailboat takes the weight on their keel, but given that Chuff's would simply slide back up inside of her, we had to use metal stands and wooden blocks behind the keel and in front of it to help hold her weight. Yeah, we'll get blocks of wood and then sit it on the wood. Um, Shetty, do they give you a ladder or do you need to get one? No, we should get one. So far she's holding. Yeah. Well, we're up on the hard. <laughs> um, 
just working on my fridge a little bit. Anyway, um, I'll give you guys a bit of a tour so we can do a before and after. So this will be the before, obviously. Things are a bit of a mess. Front V-birth. And that room's just packed full of things. And since I've had a few of you guys ask, Chuffed is a 1990 Gamelin Madeira. There was only like eight or so made um, in a French shipyard where they make Garcias and other aluminium boats. So, top deck tour. Hoping we'll have enough to do the new paint. Canvas will probably get done at another date. Dinghy will be renewed. Hopefully she looks like a new girl. You can see how bad it is in some spots where the metal's been eaten away a bit. Well, as always, things didn't go quite as planned with the, um, we went to get out really early in the morning and it ended up being around like one by the time we started getting out. So now it's like 4.30. It's very hot. So we're actually just calling it a day today. Um, I won't be leaving aboard chuffed. So I'll be going and staying at the hotel with my parents. Um, and yeah, we'll get stuck into things tomorrow. I'm like nervous and excited about what we will find. All right, hasta mañana, chaff crew. G'day, chaff crew. Coming at you live from the destruction zone, demolition zone of Chuffed at the moment. So it is actually week six on the hard for us, so you're not too far behind with the haul out. Um, of course, nothing has quite gone to plan because my original plan was to be in the water sailing up the coast by now. <laughs> so I grossly underestimated the amount of work we had to do. Um, you'll be seeing in the episodes why that is. You'll probably notice things don't look like they're going quite the way we thought they would. Um, but we've been really, really busy between mum, dad, Will, Lena, me and Jim. We have just been um, really smashing it out. We've got so much done. I think we're going to be here a while longer though, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're here until at least January, which maybe another six weeks. But Chuffed will be in perfect sailing condition by the time we're done, so it's worth it. And we've been making the most of being here as well. Um, we uh, have been doing a lot of work with some of the street dogs and a little dog in the marina here, Nicholas, who was rescued. Um, he basically just came in off the streets, all skin and bone, missing fur with infections, and he's um, he's been getting cared for. And we've been looking after this really cute little street dog. If you look at the Facebook or Instagram, you might have already seen him, um, but he's improving as well. And we're hoping to do a campaign. So we're keeping busy with animal work, and of course with boat work, and everybody's spirits are high. Although I will admit there has been some pretty roller coaster emotions <laughs> with this haul out. Um, so, just wanted to let you guys know a few things. As I said, you're going to be watching the videos as I, I guess, with the knowledge I had at the time. And obviously now I know that that's not how it's going to happen, but um, they're going to be semi-chronological, but I'm also going to be releasing videos where jobs are done in sequence. Um, so for example, with the through hulls, you're going to see the chronological uh, aspect of it, where it was actually done over like four weeks <laughs> instead of a few days because of a bunch of problems. Uh, and then you'll also see the um, start to finish through hull how to put them in. So yeah, it'll be a bit of a mix of videos this season. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping you really like it and I hope you enjoy all the boat work. I know most of you do. Um, yeah, and the patrons are getting um, weekly, usually weekly live updates from the hard so they're kept up to date with everything that's going on. Um, my patron is set to monthly so for just a dollar a month you get those live updates. Patrons are also going to be getting a discount on the new Chuffed merchandise. You can see links below in the description. Um, we've been working really hard to get it done before Christmas, so you can put some orders in if you want shirts, stickers. Um, Taj from Sailing Katapa uh, did a really cute design for me for the stickers and things too. So yeah, he's a young guy, really good artist. So yeah, I'm uh, really excited for the next few weeks and I'm really excited to obviously get back in the water, although it feels like it's a long way away still. So. Thank you all so very much for your support, for getting us here, allowing us to do so much work on Chuffed and get her to this point. Um, yeah, we've still got a lot of work to go, but we're feeling good. All right, stay Chuffed, everybody.